Cultural awareness training can be expensive and ineffective. So how can it be made interactive or even fun? One Wiradjuri artist believes he has the answer. Madeleine Haben reba reports. Imagine a world where people could learn to understand each other and their cultural background by playing a game. Well, now you can, thanks to Will Carter's invention of board game Nandi Baladu. So Nandi Baladu means who am I in Wiradjuri and it's a board game about Aboriginal culture and you know some of the historical and uh, contemporary issues that you know our people face and, and continue to face. How would you react if the only news shown about your people is negative? But how does it work? Well, first, each player is required to write their identity on a piece of paper. It's structured in that way, you work your way around the board, there's a start point, there's an end point, and throughout the journey um, you'll land on different uh, coloured dots or different pictures, you know, and you pick up the cards or do whatever um, action you need to, you know, that corresponds with that dot. Each colour represents a card category, reflection, decision, empowerment and depression. When read aloud, it has a question or statement to get players thinking. Known as the stolen generation, move back one step. Roll. Six. Six. You're a manager and employee an Aboriginal support worker to work with an Aboriginal seniors group. Well, I will go for the person who's got more uh, experience, because experience matters a lot. <laughs> and I don't pick anything up, except now I do. In his game, okay. players move forward when they receive an oppression card and back when they land on empowerment. It always seems to be two steps forwards for governments and one step backwards for Aboriginal peoples. This represents the way Australian society has traditionally worked, through the exploitation of Indigenous people. It's very much about the individual player and their own journey. So the messages you know, within the game, it's about uh, each player taking those messages and sort of talking about how they actually uh, relate to their own beliefs and experiences. By not recognising what happened in history, um, you're finding it an oppression. It makes me feel very conflicted. It doesn't matter what your background is, everyone brings something different to the game. Yeah, it's re really different, but then you, you know, you have diverse groups playing it and, you know, each person has a story, you know, and, and we, you know, Australia's full of, you know, multiculturalism and, you know, people with, you know, very diverse backgrounds. Instead of spending hours in cultural training, Will believes his game makes players think. And thinking about organisations and, um, you know, using it for, say, team building, they need to be able to get in and do it within an hour to an hour and a half, you know, so with that in mind, you know, I really tried to simplify it. A single board game starts at $196, far cheaper than cultural awareness training, and the man who designed it says it's worth every cent. So you know, winning, us, winning yeah. might be a good thing. It might not be. Oh, <laughs> it goes against my competitive nature. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs>